the guy who showed the most Cy Young stuff, or perhaps Walter Johnson or Christy Matheson stuff, was Milwaukee's Ben Sheets. Milwaukee at home against the Atlanta Braves. Sheets 3-2 coming into the year, and in the top of the first against Adam LaRoche and J.D. Drew, he already had that look. Meanwhile, the Brewers did some hitting. Bottom of the first to score 1-0 Lyle over Bay. You play for Milwaukee, you are not overpaid. Two run double to left center. 21 doubles lead the Bigs. He now has a 17 game hitting streak. 3 0 lead now for Ben Sheets. Curveball to Andrew Jones. Wilson Bedinman. Then his opposite, Jarrett Wright in the third. See it. Dwayne Wise, the outfielder. Curveball. Nasty. Don't ever want to say anything approaches. Bert B. Home by 11's curveball, but <laughs> this thing just snaps off the proverbial table. And then DeRosa, Mark goes down the ninth. Wilson Bediman, the tenth strikeout in five innings. Top of the seventh, J.D. Drew. And then the catcher, Johnny Carne Estrada. And then Bediman for the third time. He's 13. Baker's does it. Pinch hitting today is Chipper Jones on Sunday. And the 14th. And then Wise on the curve. A new Brewer team record for strikeouts in a game. Moose Antlers Haas had the old record 1978 with 14. It's about 15 years since we give it that nickname. LaRoche, JD Drew. So you mean you've set a new team record and in the ninth, you're going to strike out the side? Yes, that's what we mean. Estrada gone 18 canes, Ben Sheets. You had to be impressed with yourself. I'm a big strikeout guy, so <laughs> this is kind of all new for me. Pretty cool, though. I've never seen an 18 strikeout performance in a nine inning game, you know, at 115 pitches or whatever it was. You know, that's phenomenal. That's very, he, strike efficiency ratio was huge right there. And that's a big word. And I don't know what it means, but he was throwing a lot of strikes. Well, first of all, it means that the Brewers avoided the sweep. They beat the Braves 4-1. to one. Ben Sheets hats off. Absolutely spectacular. And with the 18 Ks, 116 pitches, 91 of them for strikes. Ridiculous. Only 25 balls. We struck out all those Braves. There is no question about it. Harold Reynolds, Ben Sheets was sat. Boomer, he was incredible. 18 strikeouts in this outing. It makes you wonder, how was he able to do it? Well, he had a great breaking ball working, but the key I felt like was that of the 17 of the first 20 batters he faced, he threw a first pitch strike. Now, there are a few things that set this day up for Ben Sheets. One, like I said, about the first pitch strike, but also secondly, and probably most important, he didn't show that strikeout pitch, that curveball, until late in that bat. Let's look at Andrew Jones for an example. Fastball, up and in. And then he goes ahead, he's 1-0, and he comes back, throws a breaking ball and a fastball count. 1-1 one, one count, comes back, throws a fastball away. 2-1, another hitter's count. What's he do? He comes back and he challenges him with the fastball. Andrew missed his pitch. Now, he's pretty much Ben Sheets. You go to 2-2, two, two, he's going to throw the breaking ball. He missed on the breaking ball 2-2. Two, two. So old school says, hey, you're going to throw it 2-2, two, two. come back, and you know what? Throw it 3-2, and sure enough, he did, and he got him out. That was the type of rhythm that he was in. He was able to throw strikes when he wanted to, and he used his out pitch to get him out. Boomer, that's why he had 18 strikeouts. And Harold, here he is on the all-time single-game list National League history. Kerry Wood NL with 20 back in 98. David Cohn and Tom Siebert decades apart for the Mets with 19, and lefty Steve Carlton, the Hall of Famer, when he was a Cardinal. Sheets joins five others with 18. That would be Sandy Koufax twice, the late Don Wilson, Bill Gullitz in Expos, and when young Ramon Martinez was doing it as a rock and roll high school. So Ben Sheets on a pretty impressive list.